Hey guys, Handyman Steve here. So what we have is these are the screen for here for the, for the basement windows and the screen is trashed. So what we did was we went ahead and bought a roll of nylon screening from Menards and we basically just traced the outline of the other one, made it a little bit bigger and say boom, that's going to be our nylon screening and you put it in a frame and what you see in this part right here and what holds it in is what's called a spline. It's a screen spline. And I got this at Menards again. This is a .14. It goes anywhere from a .125 up to a .190, depending on the, the thickness of it all. So I decided this one here was probably the one I needed. So it's really not a hard job at all. The first thing I did was I went outside and I took the screwdriver and took the screws out and come over here. And then you take the old spline out and then you just put this here. And then once we cut, then we're going to go ahead and take the spline. And what you, ideally what you want to do is you want to start about one third of the way on the one and then you just tuck it in here and you go here and here. You want to have it all one piece. Sometimes you can make more than one piece and it doesn't have enough pressure and that one piece can come flying out. So usually I start about maybe yeah, one third and a half way here and get that started and you bend it around and then you kind of pull it taut when you go not too tight but not too loose here you know, kind of in the middle like right there. And this is the tool you need. This is a roller tool. It's a three dollars and ninety nine cents of Bernard. It's got one end which is kind of rounded, and it's got the other end which has got the indentation over here. And that's what's going to be when you go over the spline like this. It's going to roll into it. It's going to put it in. So let's get busy with that and see how that works. So I think we got the screen looking okay. Let me just start up with the spline. All right, on one side. Let me bend around over here. Now again, this is a for a basement window. This little basement window covering. I don't know if I'm necessarily going to get it like so perfect, tight, fitting, awesome, and incredible. Like if you were doing, if you had this like in a window in your kitchen or living room or something like that. But the same concept applies. And as you can see, the mistake I'm making is I'm doing this and see it, the pressure is pulling it, and now I'm losing some over here. So trial and error, right, guys? And then we'll go back here and we try it again. But that's that's why I left more stuff on all the sides. So that way that could work like that because we want to not pull the screen from one side to the other so we don't take it all from one side to the other. So let's bend this around, try to keep the screen straight. Push it on our fingers. That probably works the best. Yeah, push it on our fingers first. Go all around, especially on this small one like this. That's good. So put this around, push this in with our fingers. We know that we've got the length we need. And then get this part here, right? Okay, now we're actually applying the pressure that's going to push it in there. And then that's when you start losing the screen a little bit, but that's okay. Put it here. Same thing on this side. Bada bing, bada boom. Pull that over. Bada bing, bada boom. Just a little bit more. Bend it around the edge. You can pull some of the screen tight if you want. So you don't have like a little bubble in the screen. Like I said, this is for the basement downstairs, so it doesn't have to look perfect, right? But it's for like a kitchen or a dining room or a great room or something like that, and then you a little more snickety about it. And I just go over it one more time, make sure it's pushed down. Because believe it or not, guys, what was happening is on one of them, this thing was working, but the spline had come out and the screen was open, and our cat was getting out. And we found him walking in the driveway, and I'm like, what the heck? So I went to the one and I fixed these, and then all I had to do was redo the spline, and the screen was fine. But then on this window here, it was not only the spline, it was all wasted, but the screen itself was all torn. So we're doing this, so that way we don't lose our wonderful beloved Miko. He's only about a year old, and he slips through the smallest of spaces. So that's pretty much it, guys. Just go right to there, and then the next thing I do is I just take my handy tandy trusty scissors, where my scissors are. And there we go. And I just take my little scissors here. Don't cut the screen. I don't want to cut the spline, right? Roll it down. Push it down. And there we go. Went all the way around. Now we're pretty much good. I'll just trim this edge a little bit to make it, and then I'll put it back in the window. And we'll be cat proof. Thanks for watching.